All right, we're back with uh, another video. Um, went out to Canterbury, Texas. Um, I got a message about a engine up there for sale, and I could pass it up, eighty bucks, and it's EFI. That's a uh, short term of it. Uh, I'm doing blow through still on the other engine, and I'm okay with blow through. But this one, I want to do EFI. EFI is more variable. I can drive it down the street. I can set a tune in there. I can set. Uh, parameters in there for if something goes wrong let's say if I drop below oil pressure it goes into limp mode so I can at least stop you know carnage the engine or die you know kill the engine but um $80 engine plans to take off the intake heads check everything uh, but anyway before that take off the intake uh we'll take off the easy stuff so I can get doing shit do a basic check to see how far I'm at to go down and how much money I'm at to invest into it which should be a lot since it turns over pretty easy and I uh, want Put my hand. Uh, I'll buy a starter plate so I can turn over the starter. It bolts right up. Turn over the starter and check and see what kind of compression numbers I get. So I'm not wasting my time, even trying to do a basic strip down build of it. So buy a starter plate. I'm gonna go and order that in. Uh, I think it's like 20, 30 bucks. Or is that? Uh, take off the headers. Stick a camera in there. They got the pistons, not pistons, spark plug. Stick the camera in there and see what it looks like, and uh, pretty much do a compression test all the way around. Then strip off the intake, heads, stick a cam in there, cam, lifters, and valves, uh, valve springs. We're gonna go for a probably like a, a little bit more aggressive cam for probably 460 to 520. We, I mean, I really don't know yet, so those are probably like stage. Three, nope, that's a stage two to four cams, I believe, when I looked at them. Um, doing a new budget build on it, so only got 80 bucks invested to it. Uh, it comes with all accessory, map sensor, and everything, so either we'll try to make a standalone harness work, or we're going to wait for uh, the surprise is that we're trying to go EFI, which that's why I really got this motor. Um, going to go Holly. Holly system cheaper than blow through, and there's really no arguing on it. I mean, simple blow through setup, yeah. Uh, it's going to be able to support so much. And before I got to upgrade to the MSD grid and control ignition timing on the go and have it boost control timing and blow, you know, here and there and there, you know, all that stuff. But by the time I spend all that money, I'm going to be as close to the same EFI system. So I might as well just, you know, Holly X, I think, Terminator system for these motors, which is around 1100 bucks. So it's better just to go ahead and buy the Holly system, have the fuel injection, have, you know, be able to control everything. And that's the, the gist of it. I mean, you can't really, can't really argue me on uh, affordability. I'm all about, you know, if the numbers don't match up, we, you know, cost of the uh, fully built blow through carb is going to be around 800 bucks and up. Now for me to do it myself at home, I'd probably be spending like 100 or 200 bucks to get a basic to probably support up to five or 600 horsepower. So it's only going to be able to get me so far. So that's going to be the reality of it. So, you know, and then of course, buying an MSD grid and the timing uh, controller and then the boost timing controller and just buying so much stuff. The Holly Terminator does all of that. All you're doing is plugging in a couple more things, and I'm probably going to spend a lot less in the long run you know so i will keep doing blow through with the other motor that's in the car um but this is going to save me down the line this is what i'm going to be using from now on so i got another lead on oh kind of getting off plug. so got another lead on some couple things for the cfi system so i'll probably be checking it out next month when i get some more money but this video just kind of keep just let you guys know i'm not i mean I'm just busy with work. I mean, we finally got the shop cleared. There's nothing, no vehicles in here from work. So this is a time where, you know, I've been calling out every weekend. I haven't had time to work on my car. I've worked probably a total of 14 days now. And I'm just, it's hard to work on a car at home. When your phone rings, you got to go. So I haven't forgot about doing any videos. Just I don't have time. I mean, the car's been at home. I tinker with it and then I get calls. So it's kind of hard to get time to the car. So even today, you know, it was kind of my optional day off, but unless my phone rings, I don't have to go anywhere. And sure enough, my phone rang. I had to go somewhere. I had to come to work, load up a truck uh, to go to Odessa, Texas. 
So, so we're gonna keep this a mild build. Um, thing came with a lot of goodies on here, such as the starter. It's in the back of the truck. It's over there. Uh, brake booster, AC compressor. What else did it come with? Alternator, water pump. So it's a lot of stuff I don't have to buy around. You know, in old pan. That's you know, that was. To be honest, if you really, if we went through an old video and, and receipts, well, I don't think I have the receipts on video. If you went through the receipts uh, on the next video and show how much it took to build the other engine, sure, I got the engine for about 100, 120 bucks, but it was all apart. I need to do all new bearings all the way around. That was 30 bucks here, 30 bucks there, you know, rod bearings, um, rod bearings, and crankshaft bearings. Uh, you know, then you know, sixty bucks for oil pan, sixty bucks for gasket kit. The gasket kit kind of saved me because it had everything in there, so I didn't have to buy anything over again. Um, you know, lube and stuff, which that's, I mean, that's, that's I can see that. I mean, lube is something you got to keep around. I got extra cam lube at home, so I'm not going over and leave that anymore. Next time I got to do that. Uh, really, in the water pump, the water pump and. I think that was really it, I believe. Oh, ignition coil and the distributor. So we probably got like three, four hundred bucks in that engine just in all that stuff, but we came out a little cheap. Oh, and the turbo kit, I'm not gonna include because that's not really a part of the rebuild cost. That was more on the, you know, my side where I wanted to go. So, um, now, past the rebuild cost, we got other things like the turbo kit, which was like 160 bucks, and then the four barrel intake, and then a four barrel carb. So that was probably another carb. I forgot the belt, but pretty much another 250 towards that. But now we can alternate that over engines. So our next goal is uh, find a 351 and get cracking on that. So the plan is to have a, an engine ready to go in my car throughout the season, either this year. I want to be on the ground by at least half this year. I'm going to try to take off time, try to finish up my shit with court and get some stuff worked out. Uh, go see my PO next week, I believe. And um, like I said, I'm just going to try to finish up a lot of stuff so I have more time for cars and stuff. So once this in here, you know, I, I, I feel like I just got, I stole this motor pretty much from under the dude. I mean, dude was nice. His wife was nice. It, you know, really nice. They were just like blocking their their garage. They dropped at the edge of their, in their walkway of their garage, like right in the in, inside, and it uh it blocked it. So you know, just it just blocked it. So you know, um, I'll catch you guys later. Um, see you guys on the next video, and hopefully I'll be having some done. So that's it.